dudes and dudettes. Here I am, windy day. Gotta fix my Harley. My brake light keeps going on. It doesn't go off anymore, so I think that the plunger and the spring inside the master brake cylinder is not fully extending to push it back out. So let's have a look, get it fixed, see if we can do this for an in-betweener. The guys are probably gone. Uh, I know that Mr. M is doing what he does best uh, with the female half of the human race. And uh, Mr. B's out playing somewhere, he said. So I guess I'm alone for now. See if they come up later on. supposed to be like this and it's going like that and it's not engaging it's not pushing in the light switch so that the light goes out for my brakes so let's see if we can fix it with uh, what's inside here okay, stick around parts that consist of because this is from my buddy's old 2004 Harley Davidson Road King and uh, donated it to me to upgrade my 86 Electroglide Classic Ultra, uh, not Ultra, my buddies Mr. B and Mr. M have Ultras I got old school so let's see what this thing consists of so I know what to take apart So, we got a plunger, we got the spring, we got the seals, so that should work just fine. We have to figure out how to take it apart. dirty in there. Okay, so you just pull it out like this. Watch out because you got a spring in there. Let's pull out the old take out the spring. It's got the wider end at the bottom. And the new one, the spring is just wider at the bottom. 100% synthetic moto brake fluid dot 5.1. Apparently the 501, or the dot 5 is less aggressive than the dot 4. So it consists of three seals in total, an O-ring seal it goes on the plunger and a another type of seal that comes up the slant goes at the bottom so put that on first this is what they look like 
This is the old one, obviously. It's a new one. So we're going to put it exactly the same way. So this one goes on the bottom with the flanged part on the outside and going down like this. Now we got the O-ring that goes on the top half. Like that. It's all greased up. Ready to go. thing I did, these copper rings, replace them, because they're going to leak. And seeing as I have extra ones, they say you can heat it up, and I've tried that, tried to heat them up so that they would expand, tried it up, but I don't know, it just doesn't seem to work for me. Maybe I'm doing something wrong, don't heat them up enough, I don't know. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Only thing left is to put oil in there because it's coming all the way out, which means that before it went out like this, so and now it's pushing it all the way. So now when I brake, you're gonna see a brake light instead of constantly seeing my brake light on. So, yay! See what happens. Fill it up with oil. So now all we're gonna do is put some oil in it. See what happens. Have to bleed them again. That's a bitch. Bleeding brakes. Thank you. 